Hello, welcome to porting and polishing tips from CC Specialty Tools. You can find all the products you see here at ccspecialtytool.com or reach us at 1-800-762-6995. Now, I'm gonna go over a few of the things we'll be using to do this cylinder head. Uh, it's, just let me go over the season, it's cold. Uh, for most of us, it's the off season, it's time to get some work done. Uh, unless, of course, you're into snowmobiling, and in that case, you're probably out having a great time riding and um, not watching this video. So, good for you, not jealous at all, good for you. <laughs> uh, anyway, first thing we're going to go over here is the cylinder head brace. You're probably wondering, wow, how's this cylinder just floating up here in the air? Well, it's not. We're using this little brace thing. It's extraordinarily handy. You may have seen it on some of the other videos. Just unlock it there lock it back down and because of this little ball device here it can basically rotate in any position you need it to be in. Now what's nice about that is if you're working at an odd angle you can kind of just rotate it and get at certain angles a whole lot better than you could if you were just trying to balance it on a table or on your lap or whatever else. Uh, one thing I see people do is they take a uh, little two-stroke cylinder like this and they sit in their lap and go at it go at it with a carbide burr in their lap yeah that's fine until you slip and you go through your thigh or <laughs> something like that it's just it's easier if you get one of these little braces um, it locks in it's nice and sturdy extraordinarily handy for anything you do as you can see this is a very heavy Chrysler head and uh, you know for a four cylinder so if you had a V8 obviously you'd have one bank at a time and uh, it wouldn't have any issues holding it there V6 whatever you need uh, extremely easy with uh, two stroke cylinders and uh, four stroke motorcycle cylinders uh, makes it great the other thing we're going to go over is the flex shaft tool system now at CC Specialty we use the flex shaft tool system instead of pneumatics uh, the reason is, well, they work better. Uh, let me explain why. Pneumatics are RPM dependent, which means uh, most of the time, to get the power out of them, you have to go at a fairly high RPM. These are not. These have the same amount of torque and torsional power down here at a low RPM as they do all the way up here higher when you're talking, say, um, uh, I think it tops out at 15, 18,000. Now, 15,000 for the TX, 18,000 for the SR. So, even, even there, you're not close to the kind of speeds you're using with uh, pneumatics. Why does this work better on aluminum? Well, there's several reasons. One, uh, aluminum heats up. So, as it heats, it changes the metallurgy it changes the structure of the metal. It, it actually heats up, it starts to harden, it can melt, ripple, distort. Plastic's the same way, you know, if you have a composite uh, intake, it can do the same thing. You're better off with uh, having power at low RPMs. It just works better all around. Let's, uh, let's cut right here in this corner and kind of show you a little bit. <laughs> See how easy I put that little curve in there? Well, the reason is, this little carbide burr, all carbide burrs, have an optimal RPM at which they cut. And it's actually not usually up here at a high RPM range because, think about when it's when this cutting surface is coming in contact with this metal, if you're at a high RPM, it has less of a chance to cut out a nice, smooth swap because it's at a high RPM. It's, it tends to stay up on top of the metal. Whereas at a certain RPM, Look, it'll just start to cut like butter right through that. So, handy to know. Um, flex shaft tool systems, what we use. Uh, we used to have pneumatics. We got away from it because our customers just didn't care much for them, so there wasn't the demand. They, once they tried the TX or the SR setup, that's what they stuck with. So, that tells you a little bit about the kind of tools you'll see me uh, using for this. Of course, the other thing is carbide burrs. Uh, big selection of them. You can have a quarter inch shank, you can have the little eighth inch shank. Uh, you can even have 
lovely little right angles like this. Now I'm going to use this probably on transfers on the two stroke and things like that. But as you've heard me mention before, it can be handy when working on cylinder heads well to get to an odd angle or something like that. This one's pretty straightforward, so probably won't be an issue. Uh, some other things I might mention on this one, you can, uh, like I said, you can find everything online at ccspecialitytools.com, but uh, you can also chat with me, TJ. Uh, I'm a moderator over on Two Stroke Central. Uh, you can find us at twostrokecentral.com and have chat with uh, me and several other experts about uh, tuning and things to that nature.